You're watching Backyard Tech. On a number of occasions, old mate here at the Backyard Tech channel has had a bit of a sticky beak at a number of Ben Fitzpatrick's Linux spins, various themings, etc. Some have worked, a few haven't, a couple I haven't exactly been raving on about, and that's when I benchmark them against my existing Linux distros that I use day in, day out. Well, Ben's been at me again to have a look at another version of Hackman Linux. It's system setup and product review time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, let's have a sticky beak at Hackman V4 with some extra theming and different applications. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is System Setup and Product Review time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Monday morning for TBIM. And as I said, Ben's been at me again to take a look at another version of Hackman Linux. Um, he's just bloody lucky I'm doing it today because I've got to be honest with you, I really don't want to be doing anything here for the channel today. It's just lucky that my channel means a lot to me. Otherwise, I'd probably tell him to go and get stuffed and I'm not actually going to do it today. All right, so basically we're taking a look at Ben's uh, minimally customized take of Ubuntu Mate. He's modified a number of theming as well as adding, adding Google Chrome, Synaptic Package and TeamViewer and a few other little bits and pieces, I believe. Now, again, as per a number of people, they don't give me the whole picture they give me snippets, which makes it very difficult for me to do this sort of stuff without having a full idea of what's actually in the operating system. So, for a Monday morning here at the Backyard Tech Channel, let's give Hackman V4 from Ben Fitzpatrick, the Backyard Tech Channel treatment, going to have a sticky beak at it. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so standard test bench, which we're all familiar with. 4 gig of RAM, dual core CPU, and a 120 gig drive. Let's um, let's have a sticky bake. Now, one thing I will say, which I've mentioned this in the past before we do this, a lot of the operating systems I'm looking at, both out of the box, so what you get when you first install it, but I am benchmarking them against the Linuxes I use day in day out which is obviously mx open man driver and a few others and if they meet the same level of criteria and want of use then i'm happy with them but I, i've said this many times before you you shouldn't be in a position where you have to bow down and scrape to every linux operating system believing it to be the duck's guts because not every Linux or every Unix, I should mention, suits everybody. All right, let's um, let's get in and have a sticky beak at this. Now, he has told me categorically this works, and apparently, he has tested it. But if you remember last time, he did a system back; it didn't work. And I had a hell of a time trying to get it to work. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen because I'm not in the mood today to go stuffing around trying to get an OS to run. And if it does stuff up, I won't be happy. He has told me it's both legacy and UFI enabled, so. All right. 
as I said, he's given me an ironclad guarantee this is going to work. So I can't be bothered updating this. We've all, making it bigger, we've all seen freaking system back restorations before. So I'm not going to bother enlarging it just so you can see what's going on. We've done plenty of them here at the channel over the years. I haven't got screen integration, which is a worry. Oh, yes, I do. No, I do have it. That's all right. Not properly, but I have got it. Sorry. Should actually mute the phone. thought he said this was supposed to be fairly quick with the restoration. How long has it been going? Five minutes. I definitely need to update. This is slow. Okay, to save video time, I'm going to cut the video here and when it gets closer, we'll come back. Wow, this is, uh, this is taking a long time. Very long time, actually. I'm sitting here going through 
a few things on my emails at the moment while we wait for this to finish. This is slow. And he did he did say that it worked on everything, so let's see what happens, shall we? Apparently he took out some stuff and added some other stuff to it, so we'll soon see. Huh. Uh, not again. Hang on. You know, one thing that really gives me the SH1Ts is when I'm categorically guaranteed that it works. And then this happens. <sighs> um, all right, hang on. All right, well, I am trying a different type of installation method here. Um, if this doesn't work, Old mate's going to have to go to VirtualBox, otherwise Ben's going to tear him a new one because he didn't do his review for him. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I've got to try and figure this problem out. I have a suspicion that Ben set it up, Yuffie, and forgot to add some of the legacy stuff to it in order for it to boot BIOS. So, I'm going to have to figure out what's going on here. If worst case scenario, I'll have to do VirtualBox. Which I don't want to, because I hate VirtualBox. I prefer Workstation 12 and ESXi, frankly, but if I have to, I will do VirtualBox. It's amazing how many people don't seem to even know that VM Player can do exactly the same stuff VirtualBox can. Apparently he tested it on ESXi. I suppose I can try VM Player and see if it'll boot out of VM Player. I don't really want to have to download the whole of VirtualBox plus the add-on pack just to do a system setup and product review video. I'll just see what this does. Other than that, I'll try it in VM Player and if it doesn't work, I guess I'll have to go and, well, I will have to download bloody VirtualBox. I hate downloading VirtualBox. I've got to muck around. I've got to get the whole add-on pack for it to make everything and anything damn well work. If I can, if I have to, I can use Workstation 12 and locally host it. 
Although again, I don't like doing that. Why locally host an operating system when you've got a, you know, you've got a perfectly good hypervisor? try this in VM player and see what it does and then I'll have to try it in VirtualBox as well because Ben's adamant it works As you can see there on your screen, it is all extraordinarily slow to do anything. So I am now going to download VirtualBox and try it on VirtualBox. Well, after talking to Ben, it turns out that he's built Hackman Linux using workstation 15 and I'm on workstation 12 and apparently the newer version of ESXi which I'm still on the older version of ESXi so I've downloaded my arch nemesis virtual box which I loathe this system but in order to get this done it's my only option because it does the damn thing won't even run in VM player so let's see what this does. I'm out of coffee. Ah. Okay, hang on. Hang on, guys. Ah. That's why I hate this. Alright, let's try and see if we can get it to work now. Virtual Box is absolutely brilliant. It's the best virtualization ever made. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? So Ben's got the new VM workstation with the new ESXi, but he actually didn't tell me that. I don't have access to the new one. Maybe ESXi, but not workstation 15. Let's see if this works. I know it's supposed to be VO, VBOX, but I'm calling it VM because it is a virtual machine. why he thought I had workstation 15 <laughs> workstation 12 yeah the half's downstairs I suppose what I've now gonna have to do 
is run freaking VirtualBox when an operating system won't install onto ESXi, which absolutely infuriates me. Because I hate VirtualBox. We'll see if this installs. I'll come back shortly. Well, we're still going here, unfortunately. Um, I just there's always been problems with these operating systems. They haven't worked, or he's tested them on the wrong version of VMware or something. So I'm slowly sitting here with VirtualBox. I haven't got the extension pack yet because I'm still umming and ahhing as to whether I'm going to need the extension pack. I ideally don't want it. I prefer VMware. I prefer to use a bare metal hypervisor like ESXi with Workstation 12. And every other operating system I've got works on it. Except the Hackman always seems to have a problem with them. I don't have to run VirtualBox just to run one operating system. That's ridiculous. F. All right. I think I can get out of it down here too, can't I? We'll stick with this now. If I could afford it, I'd get VM Workstation 15, but there's no upgrade path from 12 to 15, unfortunately. I bet you this thing has a dummy spit because of my hardware. <laughs> I'm using one core, two threads to emulate if I'm right a dual core CPU. Let's see what this does. I'm really not in the mood for this today, I can tell you. I could think of far better things to be doing here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Uh. It's possible the ISO is stuffed. doesn't work so what I'm gonna do so we can actually have a sticky peek at this close we'll do it this way um, obviously I can't install it it will not install so if it had installed Let's see what we would have got with it. So there's Abby Word. 
Firefox and Google Chrome, as well as Software Boutique and Synaptic Package Manager, Cages in there as well. Some of the accessories, so it's pretty much a standard Mate setup. You can see there, Nvidia X drivers, everything like that. Graphics, I have Mate, interwebs. Google Chrome's in there, which is whatever. Uh, Firefox would obviously be my preferred one. He's put TeamViewer 14 in there for remote access and remote admin if necessary. Uh, Thunderbird and Transmission would be your BitTorrent client. Took out Libri and added off, uh, Abbey Word in there as the word processor, obviously Document Viewer. Numerics in there and Mate Dictionary, some of your preferences. VLC, Brasirio, um, no games in this one, so obviously you'd have to add games. System backs in there as well. G Debbie package manager for your uh, Deb packages, universal access control center. We'll have a quick sticky beaker control center. And that's basically it. Um, there's your virtual box stuff and everything like that. Desktop backgrounds, we'll see what we get. So pretty much your standard desktop backgrounds that are available. Some of your theming there, obviously he's got his custom theme there, but you can pick your other ones. So a little bit of theming done to it and a few things put in and out. Um, I don't know, we'll have a look at the mate terminal. There's the, uh, well, that's what he's called it, Inspiron-15-700 Gaming. That might be the problem he's got, that it's named after his actual laptop. So this thing's probably looking for some Dell stuff instead of being a generic install. Um, some of your additional drivers are there. Obviously, you've got Bluetooth Manager and Adapter, Cages in there, Character Map. Uh, your discs. Yeah, that's another fail. I'm sorry, guys. It clearly is not working. He needs to go back and try again. Anyway, hopefully I'll catch it tonight. Have a good one all. Cheers.